that a group of youths from the north has called for sanctions on the National Security Advisor, Babagana Mongono, over rising insecurity in the country. The Arawa Youth Assembly, during a protest to the National Assembly, called on President Muhammad Buhari to stop the avoidable bloodletting of innocent citizens across the country. Jokia Disa reports. Nigeria's security is at its lowest hebb. Only recently, the Nigeria Security Tracker, a project of the Council on Foreign Relations of the United States, revealed that activities of violent non-state actors claimed up to 5,222 lives nationwide in the first half of 2022. This figure is almost higher than casualties recorded in Ukraine that is officially at war with Russia. How many people this group believes the sanctioning of the National Security Advisor is the needed antidote. It describes this peaceful protest as a response to the astronomical increase in the cases of unprovoked killings and kidnap of Nigerians in their farms, houses, on trains and on major highways. National Security Advisor General Babagana Muhammad Mongunu retired is either not advising Mr. President well or his ideas are ineffective. Hence, the seeming triumph of ragtag elements over our armed forces. We therefore call for his immediate resignation or be sacked by President Muhammad Buhari. Baba Gada has been there for seven years. As the National Security Advisor of the country, who is in charge of sec uh, the security apparatus, nothing has been happened. As a patriotic Nigeria, he should have personally said he has failed. Let me step down. While it admits the current administration has procured more weapons than any of its predecessors, the group is unhappy that banditry is on the loose. Security of this nation should unconditionally be improved from its present state to a satisfactory one that will protect the lives and security uh, that, will pro that will protect the lives and properties of Nigerians. The common Nigerians are suffering. To go to northern Nigeria today, our people are not going to farm. Yes. We cannot farm because if you go to farm, you have to pay ransom before even farming. And immediately you farm, they will still collect your products. The Arewa Youth Assembly seeks unconditional freedom for all those in captivity and gives Mr. President two days to sanction the National Security Advisor or simultaneous protests across the 19 northern states will become inevitable. Chocolate. TVC News, Abuja.